Welcome to Fallout 76, this is Jim. In this video, we're going to take a look at completing the weekly challenges that we got starting on Tuesday, March the 5th to Monday, March the 11th, possibly the 12th, depending on where you live, 2024. Let's take a look at and see what we got for this week's weekly challenges. All right. Good stuff. Uh, many videos on my channel that will help you guys out with different ideas, different locations, easy areas, hard areas that were there. If you're a brand spanking new player to the game, if you're a returning player, even experienced player, there's a particular daily or weekly challenge that's giving you a hard time or trouble. I'm sure you'll find a video on my channel that will help you. I try to keep my videos as updated as I possibly can. And of course, you guys are awesome with the great comments, which is greatly appreciated. Okay, there is a few things we could do here in our camp. Let's go ahead. We'll start off with this one here. Collect purified water 25. Now, I don't know if I'm going to be able to collect all 25 purified water. Uh, but I have these vintage water coolers here in my camp. Um, if you go to other people's camps, you'll notice that other people will have a lot of purified waters in their camp as well. Uh, if you ever see the vintage water cooler uh, for sale on someone's vendor, by all means, uh, buy it. It's definitely worth its weight in gold. It will collect purified water passively while you play the game. Um, now, there's a different type of water purifier here. Let's take a look at that here real quick. Go down here to water. Now, this one here is just a small water purifier here. It's probably one of the first ones you learn in the game. It does require a lot of uh, uh, resources and aid power to connect into it. But uh, it does collect two purified water. If this is all you have, it's all you have. Uh, but it's definitely, uh, you definitely have a couple of these in your camp and just kind of work at, work away at it this week. All right, so just an FYI on that. Okay, so we'll, uh, we'll probably come back to my camp and finish this off. Now I do have, oh, it's collected already. Look at that. Pretty cool. Um, I do have other camps that have more cooler. So you can even do that. You can even just kind of activate your camps. The other ones that you have and just kind of keep on collecting the purified water until you satisfy the the weekly challenge okay what's next here well, obviously you have to come back to that bad boy uh scrap junk to produce cork 15 so you saw i would have done 10 to 15 already already as we did it in our daily challenge that we got on tuesday march the 5th so again, we can bulk cork at the good old Tinker's Workbench. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and go craft. Down here to bulk. Down here to bulk cork. So as long as you have 10 cork scrap and 2 plastic in your stash or scrap box, this method will work for you. Let's go ahead and bulk just one. That's all that we need. Let's back out. Let's go ahead and scrap. Let's scrap the bulk cork. Just literally craft it. Done. Just like that. Scrap junk to produce cork. 15 for 15. Done. Just like that. What's next? What else can we do in our camp, Jim? Uh, build defense, appliance, or crafting items in a workshop or camp 10. So you can go ahead and claim any old workshop on the map. Then build some defense, appliance, or crafting items in it. Or you can just build it at your camp. Whichever one you prefer. We're just going to do it at our camp. So defense, appliance, or crafting items. Let's go ahead. Go to our build menu here. Okay. Go down here to defense. Build some of these uh, fences here. Now uh, let's build some uh, crafting items. Let's build something real simple. Cooking stations here. Okay, and uh, appliances. Let's go down to appliances. Something nice and easy. How about this uh, bathtub here? Let's go ahead. Done, just like that. Build defense appliance or crafting items in the workshop or camp. You didn't have. You don't have to build all different ones like I did. You can craft all, all a bunch of these. That's all you could have done. Uh, you could choose to keep what you build, of course. I choose to scrap it. 
I'm pretty happy with the way my camp is right now, so you can do whatever you like to do. When you do scrap, you do get a little bit of it back. Not a whole lot, but a little bit. All right, what's next here, Jim? Let's check to see that purified water seal. So that's doing. All right, we'll let that uh, do its thing. All right. What's next here? Let's go ahead and drink Nuka-Cola 25. So you guys hear me talk about it all the time. Nuka-Cola Collectron uh, Station. Basically, he will collect Nuka-Cola products passively while you play the game. Definitely worth its weight in gold. This guy right here, the OG one, is usually my prefer, so... He even collects the orange, the wild, the grape, uh, quantum, uh, all the, you know, the cr uh, even cranberry, okay? Definitely worth it. These particular dailies come up all the time, and uh, it's definitely worth having your camp. Uh, this past month and a half, it's been on sale in the Atomic Shop. I got on sale for 250 items. Uh, one thing good about that is uh, if you have, if, if you're a person that have multiple characters or players, uh, under your profile, they'll all benefit from that as compared to going to Samuel and Foundation, where you got to use uh, 1250 gold bullion. If you're cautious with the settlers, uh, it'll just be pertaining to that particular character that used the gold bullion. Okay, that's the only thing there. Uh, so many great spots you can find uh, Nuka Cola products uh, around the wasteland. Again, they're really random. Uh, one of the best spots is right down here, Nuka World on Tour. Let's go ahead down here. Now I have that uh, red and yellow OG Nuka-Cola Collectron in every one of my camps. And you can do the same. You can put one in every one of your camps and just go ahead and just collect from them for these particular daily challenges. However, you know, not everyone will have that. So I still like to kind of show a really good spot uh, such as this where you can pick up Nuka-Cola products. Uh, so this machine here has got two of them in here. Nice, nice. Uh, let's go up here to uh, where the little kiosks are. This is where seismic activity will happen. And there'll be a bunch of little kiosks left here. We'll have Nuka-Cola products as well. You can collect them and then drink them as well. Now, uh, right on these tables, everywhere is where you see a, a, like an empty bottle uh, could be a Nuka-Cola product. So FYI on that, so you can just kind of go up and drink it, see how it counts, just like that. Okay. And all you do is just check every single one of those. There's some dog food in there. There's a Nuka Cola out there. Nuka Cola right there. The server here is pretty uh, pretty good to me today. And in here, there's usually a couple on this table. Usually a couple on this kiosk. A little cap stash there. Sometimes there's a couple on these kiosks as well. There's a couple more machines down here that'll have some Nuka Cola products in here. Yeah, there's one right there. Much more bottles than anything. Now, if all else fails, you can always buy Nuka-Cola products in the vending machines down here. I tried to come down here earlier during my uh, daily challenge video, but I had to hightail it out because they had Most Wanted playing. And uh, the music for Most Wanted is a uh, copyright. What is going on? Gunther. Bud. You're, uh... Need to put some clothes on, buds. Oh, holy jeez. Burp, 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 just having a good time. <laughs> oh, just the goodness. All right, so Nuka Cola products up there. So here are these vending machines. Here you can buy Nuka Cola products. Here, uh, now you can server hop this as many times as you want and fill your boots all you want there as well. Okay, so there's the Nuka Cola Dark right there. If you're looking to do your uh, daily challenge, and you can server hop this and just fill your boots all day long, so as long as you have the caps for it. And also there is uh, bubbles. Right up here at the White Spring uh, Refuge, you guys have seen me bring you guys there as well. Now, one thing good is the bubbles inventory does not tie into the inventory for the vending machines, and we have proved that out multiple times. So, FYI, so let's go ahead. We're gonna drink some Nuka Cola products here. I got all kinds of them on me.
drink these cherries because these cherries are kind of dime of a dozen kind of deal. There we go. Big Duca Cola 25 for 25. Now, just food for thought back in the day when it said drink Duca Cola. Uh, the dailies used to be, it meant the Nuka Cola Classic. If you drink, if you drink any other flavor, it wouldn't count. <laughs> FYI, I'm glad they, that's one of the best changes that they made to the daily weekly challenge system, just in case you guys, uh, just food for thought for you guys, how they kind of improve the game as they go. So there we go. Let's just give you guys some ideas. But if you had the Nuka Cola Collectron Station, the OG one, or even the Quantum one we got in Season 11, the bluish purple one, uh, that one even uh, help you out as well. All right, what's next here, Jim? What is next? Let's go ahead here. Gee, there's a couple things we can do. Uh, scrap drunk to produce circuitry 15. So we cannot bulk circuitry at the Tinker's workbench. We actually have to go out and find some junk items that we can scrap to give us some circuitry. Uh, now we need uh, 15. Uh, one of the best places to go. Telephones is a good source of circuitry. Uh, targeting cards that you get off of turrets is a good sp uh, spot for some circuitry as well. Uh, right up here in Abby's bunker, there's a couple of sensor modules. Let's go up here. Eastern Regional Penitentiary is a good spot for some telephones. I have a couple of videos showing you some great spots for telephones and circuitry and such. All right, let's go inside here. Open the door, Jim. Open the door, buddy. Close the door. All right, let's head downstairs here. Now there's going to be some insects down here, which is going to count towards the weekly challenge that we have. Kill insects 30. Okay, so we can... There'll be at least five rad roaches down here, so let's go ahead. We'll take care of them at the same time. Alright, there's a uh, bad boy there. How you doing? Oh, did he pass away already? He did. Alright, so we're looking for these sensor modules here. This, uh, this guy right here. The sensor modules are really good. They're actually good for, uh, I believe it's five circuitry. There's another sensor module here. So there's at least two. That, that guy that's on the floor, he's usually on top of here. Alright? And the other guy that was on the floor, he's usually right here on uh, the shelf, okay? Uh, while we're here, let's go after those other uh, rad roaches. There we go, okay. Alright, so let's go some results for some circuitry, some telephones. Uh, let's go to a pretty good spot. Um, let's go to, let's go to the Eastern Regional Penitentiary. I'll show you where to get the telephones there. Sensor modules. If you come across a sensor module, definitely worth its weight in gold. It's got, uh, fire circuitry in it, I believe. We're going to pick up some telephones here from the Eastern Regional Penitentiary. There's going to be some ghouls around. Let's lock and load, Jim. Get down here and get our sneak on. We're going to go right to the front door. All right, let's head inside. And once when you're inside here, there's going to be a little visiting area. Um, if you've ever been to a penitentiary before, it's a little area where you come in, you can kind of talk to your loved ones that are in uh, there that are in jail. Uh, there's going to be some uh, ghouls in here as well. There's going to be some telephones that are in here. Go ahead and grab now. One telephone will give us one circuitry, so keep that in mind. We're just going to pick uh, them up here. Four, five. Okay, so we should be good there now. All right, let's go ahead and head back to my camp. Look, there's some more nuclear products here. Go ahead and grab that bad boy. Uh, what's next here? We'll go back to our camp. Now you can go to any workbench uh, you wish, back to your camp or at a train station or a friend's uh, camp. 
teammates, camp, etc. Yeah, so turrets are a good source of circuitry. But the uh, targeting cards... Um, right down here... National Isolated Radio Array, pretty good for more telephones. Alright. Uh, White Spring Refuge. Downstairs, uh, in the shopping mall area. Great spot for some telephones down there as well. You would have saw me make, make a couple of videos on that. Alright, let's go to our workbench here. We're gonna go scrap. So as you can see, one sensor module gives us five circuitry, so they're pretty good. One telephone gives us one circuitry. Let's go ahead. We're going to scrap this stuff here. and We're going to just make her done. Scrap done to produce circuitry 15 for 15. And uh, so that's pretty awesome. So as you can see, we cannot bulk uh, circuitry at our Tinker's workbench. Okay. Just to show you. Uh, what's next here, Jim? What is next here? Uh, let's see if we get the purified water back. And we'll uh, finish that off. Jeez. You guys are taking a good old time there now. I think we need one more. Uh, what's next here? Uh, two more. Uh, let's go ahead and scrap junk to produce crystal 15. So again, we cannot bulk crystal at the Tinker's Workbench. Let's go ahead and go craft to show you. Bulk. See, we cannot bulk crystal. So we have to go out and find some junk items to scrap to give us crystal. And one of the best places, uh, I would say uh, microscopes, great spot for crystal. You would see me make a couple videos. They're a little older videos. So all those videos I show where to find microscopes, like Morgantown High School, for example, uh, right over here at uh, Ella Ames Bunker. Find some microscopes down here at the uh, White Spring Resort. And uh, that's a good, good spot. Microscopes is a good source for crystal. Uh, but one of the best spots for crystal is right up here at Clancy Manor. Let's go up here. Now this place is going to get a little hairy with all the cultists around, but uh, we're going to find some uh, crystal decanters, magnifying glass. This is probably one of the hot spots for crystal. Lock and load, Jim. You can go after the microscopes if you so wish. How you doing up there, buddy? Lock and load, Jim. See you up there, bud. <laughs> okay. All right, let's uh, go inside here. That's not the way to go in, Jim. This way. Now, as soon as we go in, we're going to see the... Uh, they might be on the ground. <laughs> so we're going to have to search the ground or the floor for them. Uh, because of all the explosions that have been happening. All right, so keep that in mind. How you doing? All right, so there's a liquid, crystal liquid decanter right here. Let's go ahead and grab him. So it's, it's going to be a little harder because uh, all these guys have uh, made a big mess of the place. Honest to goodness. I thought there was another one around here. Magnifying glass right there. 
Oh, right there. Liquid uh, decanter right there. Um, even uh, broken uh, cameras will have crystal on them as well. These uh, broken Pro Snap Deluxe cameras. Let's go ahead and grab that one. I thought there was one oh, right there. Go ahead and grab him. Just to kind of give you guys ideas. Hi. Hi. Uh, how's that feel? Huh? You feel better now? <laughs> uh, another magnifying glass right here. Oh, I thought it was magnifying glass. Never mind. Never mind. Don't mind me, Jim. Okay, let's pop upstairs here. Oh, another decanter right there. So as I see, a, a great spot uh, for Crystal. You just got to get past these uh, lunatics here. Another decanter right there. Uh, another one right there, right behind it. Perfect. Perfect. Another one right there. Uh, we're going to leave that one. Uh, there's a magnifying glass right there. All right. I think there is a... Oh, another one right there. Perfect. Let's see y'all. Another one right there. See? Down there. And there's a, another one right there. And Pro Snap Deluxe Camera right there. Perfect. But I think we're good. I think we're good with what we got. Uh, only pick up what you need. That's what I highly recommend to people. Let's go ahead and go scrap. Alright, so broken Pro Snap Camera. One crystal each. Crystal Liquor Decanter. Three crystal each. Okay. And as you can see, there's all kinds more. Magnifying Glass. One crystal. And that guy. <laughs> Let's go ahead and we'll scrap this stuff. Done, just a scrap drug to produce crystal. Done, just like that, guys. One of the best spots for crystal. Oh yeah, that's the camera right up there. Perfect, great spot. Oh, another one right there, decanter right there you can pick up. Pretty good. Oh, the fiberglass spool there, good to know. Um, yeah, one of the best spots. Can't uh, stress it enough. Alright, what's next here? Let's see here, Jim. Alright, let's, um... Let's go ahead, we'll kill some insects, 30. Uh, so we, uh, many great spots, many great ways to kill insects, okay? You can use the honeybees. They can squirt out the honey, the bee swarms towards you. They count as insects, okay? Uh, I have many great insect uh, videos. Sometimes I uh, kill insect with energy weapons. You'll come across videos like that. They're a little older, but they're still valid. Uh, let's pop over here to Aaronhold Homestead first. Look after those insects that are down here. All right, now we're going to lock and load this uh, weapon here. All right, now we're going to head this way here. So again, Eric Holt Homestead. We're going to head to the south towards the field. Uh, but we're going to go this way here first because there's uh, a couple of mongrels I don't want to bother with. And um, there's going to be some bee swarms up here that I can kind of show you. Just in case you're unaware and you're new to my channel about bee swarms will also count as insects. So I am suffering from alcohol addiction, so let's go ahead and drink something that will fix that. Like that. <laughs> let's take a rat away while we're here. Ah, <laughs> uh, this little shed here. This little shed will have a bunch of uh, bee swarms. And as you can see, see how that counts as uh, killing insects, those bee swarms. So, great spot. Great little spot there. And of course, down here in the field, I always kind of recommend go for the torso as compared to other parts on. Uh... You humans attack me because oh, you good lord. Take a joke. Fortunately, your combat ability is just as bad huh? as your Let's go here. I see that up there. I don't know what that is, that's weird. Oh, hi.
Is that it? Is that all you got? So as you saw there, including the bee swarms, just this one little area, 17 insects. 17 to 30. Or actually, no. It was less than 17 to 30. Right on, Jim. I already had some. But there, there's quite a few. <laughs> I had some insects already taken care of before we come here. Right on, Jim. You know how to count today, but right on. <laughs> Nonetheless, a good spot for some insects. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, <laughs> let's get some results here. Uh, we're going to pop over here uh, to the New River Gorge Bridge East. <laughs> Alright, so we're at New River Gorge Bridge East, and we get New River Gorge Bridge Resort here. And uh, we're going to hit the resort first. Uh, there are going to be some ghouls here as well, but um, there's also going to be insects. And we'll just take care of these ghouls so they're not in the way. Let me get on you. Oh, boys. See you later. <laughs> so this is the main building here. We're going to go down this path here. And again, we've got some blood flies. We'll go for the torso here. We're going to be around. Now, sometimes you will find in this area, you'll see the ghouls attacking uh, the blood flies and uh, vice versa. So just kind of keep that in mind. here. Good stuff. All right, so we're doing pretty good. Locations here with uh, some insects, mostly blood flies. All right, now let's go on the uh, New River Gorge Bridge. Now you can you can go to the other side if you want. Um, you'll find some ghouls all over the bridge, but you'll also find the vast majority of the insects are on the top top tier section here of the bridge. Okay, so keep that in mind. Uh, we are going to have to take care of these ghouls here. Hi. What's this? Sex down here. He's going to kill our insect. We might as well take care of that guy. I don't know if you guys remember. Uh, maybe the guys, folks who've been following me for a while, remember when I fell off this bridge. <laughs> it was quite something. And luckily I used my boost pack. All right, this should finish it off. These two here. There we go. Kill insects 30 for 30. Done. Done. Of 
Pretty good spots for some insects. Pretty cool. What's next here? Kill the Scorch 30. Great spot for some Scorched. Um, the videos that I make uh, for Spooky Scorched or Holiday Scorched, you can check out those videos because those areas will just have Scorched in them. Okay, we're not only looking for those special Scorched for that time of the year, uh, but they'll be Scorched around uh, as well. Uh, let's pop up here. We're going to stop here at the uh, Poseidon Power Plant PX1 first. It's just down the road from where we're at. They would have saw I would have uh, killed some Scorched already uh, because we had completed some of that during the daily challenges that we got here today. Alright, let's go here. Take care of some Scorched again. We're at the Poseidon Power Station PX1. But uh, a lot of people know where the Scorched are by now. But you can check out one of those videos of mine. If you so wish, if you're looking for a lot of them. Oh, there you are. I don't know where you were, bud. Something's on fire. Alright, stuff. Now let's keep going up. Let's head up here to Tyler County Fairgrounds. Great spot for some Scorch, as most of us know. Switch up some weapons here. There we go. Scorched. Jeepers. Missing them left, right, and center here. This is usually a good spot for some uh, different types of nuclear flow products as well. FYI. Sometimes there's a bobblehead there as well. Salisbury steak, beautiful. UT fall. A little bit of splash damage there is nice. Oh, hi. Scared me there. Down there, super mutant down there. 
Oh, there he is, right there. I don't know where you were, bud. Bud! Where you going? Eh, there should be one more in here. There we go. Perfect. Nice. Alright. Let's, uh... We'll finish this off up here at uh, Wavy Wilderness Water Park. Let's pop up here. Again, you can check out those videos I have for Spooky Scorched, Holiday Scorched, and I just bring you, just spend like a little bit more than an hour and just take you to all these places where you'll just find Scorched, so. Check those out. Go kill the scorch 30 for 30 dot just like that what's behind me here oh oh there's ansel we hear it. talk about the pro snap deluxe camera all the time bad boy right here now it's a little harder for me to go through the paces because i already did it such a long time ago but i did make a video a couple of videos of taking you through the paces you know i can't show you everything because i already have it but uh, here's Ansel, one of the folks that will have the broken Pro Snap Deluxe camera. He'll spawn here sometimes. And you just take it to your Tickers workbench and turn it into the Pro Snap Deluxe camera. And then you're good to go. Uh, just to kind of show you that. Kind of add that in. Uh, what's next here? What's this event up here? Oh, Mylar Cord. Huh, weird. Um, let's go ahead and claim a Workshop 3. So any three workshops on the map will do uh if you're closer to one if you prefer three of them whatever you like to do uh we were down here earlier for a daily challenge here on the uh, 5th of march and we claimed this one already that's why i have one of three completed uh we're just up the road from hemlock holes let's go ahead we'll fast travel there and we'll go ahead and claim that workshop now you can do the harder workshops if you like whatever you want to do uh, I'd rather just stick to the easier, easier one. Just kind of want to get in and get out. Now, again, if you didn't know, some workshops you can roll up to and you don't have to clear enemies. There's no enemies around. Uh, while other, other workshops you do have to clear the, clear the enemies. There we go. You get on your butts. Nice. And again, workshops will normally cost you 25 caps. If you're spending more than 25 caps, that means you're on a public server. And the person who had owned that uh, workshop previously had left the server. But their items that they built, like turrets or traps or floors or what have you, will remain. And when you claim a workshop with that stuff in it, it's going to cost you a little bit more. So I think the most I've ever paid for a workshop was about 20, uh, 55 caps, but it had a lot of stuff in it. But it's not too bad, actually. Okay, what's next here? So there's our second one done. Let's go ahead. We're going to claim. All right, let's go over here. Tyler, we'll go back to Tyler County Fairgrounds. Of course, we cannot fast travel to a workshop until we've claimed it and owned it. Um, so let's go ahead. We'll clear this area. Just seeing how we're just stick it to the forest. These these areas are fairly easy. Now, these particular areas are, um, you know, usually ghouls or mole rats or scorched. Anyone down there? I don't think so. Okay, let's pop up here. Lock and load first here, though. Hi.
What you do to the boss? Same thing I'm gonna do to you there, Pally Boy. <laughs> Alright, we guess let's go up here. Oh, what's this? Oh, yeah. Let's go here. Yeah, he's down. He's down. There we go. Now we can claim it. Let's go ahead here. Five caps. Beautiful. Wait for that to be done. There we go, claim a workshop three for three, done, just like that, guys. Again, any old workshop in the map will do, three of them. All right, let's finish off, collect uh, purified water. Head back to my camp, those guys should have uh, filled back up by now. Let's go ahead. All right. This way. Um, food for thought too. Uh, let's see how my camp. You see that uh, that robot there, legendary uh, Bessie. Legendary Bessie will travel all around. Like it doesn't just stay there. It actually uh, legendary it'll actually travel right up the road, right up to, almost up to that bus. Then you'll see it like on the other side of that river, right? Uh, but one day, uh, earlier in the week, Legendary Bessie was like traveling up here and I had just spawned in, in this camp. And it was like way up there. And then some robots, some Protectrons were up there, you know, obviously coming to my camp. Uh, but they killed or defeated uh, Legendary Betsy. And uh, when they did that, it was just a bit one big fireball. And like there was no parts around it was just gone like just disappeared off the face of the earth out the wasteland and it was quite something never ever seen that before i wish i would have got it on video but i didn't think that would happen and then when i did some challenges i came back uh legendary betsy was back <laughs> over there it was uh, quite something so let's finish it off this off here with uh, collecting of the water collecting of the purified water there we go done these guys are back up to full. Again, if you guys ever see these on sale or for sale on someone's vendor, worth their weight in gold. 100%. They're just so clean and you can just so compact, you just pack them right in there. And I think we're done, guys. I think we're done these weekly challenges we are. Look at that. If I could do it, anyone can for sure. It's no joke. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, and share when you have the chance. It really helps me out. I'd like to thank my channel members, Artistically Ranged, Boogaloo Bronson, Michael Edwards, Nigel Whiffen, Heather, White Tribe, Starwind138. Thank you all so very much. And I hope you all have a nice day. How you doing there, Grandma? You baking me something? Are you baking me something? How are you making up with those mole rats, eh? Okay, she's fading in and out there.